bien la vida o bien la vida de nuevo a mi canal. Hope I said that right. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I am in the kitchen once again. No, we are not cooking. Well, we are cooking. We're not baking is what I meant. Because we all know what happened the last time I baked. So this morning I've had a little bit of a fiasco. I heard a loud bang in the front room. So do you know what you do? You go check it out. Like I haven't learned anything from any horror films at all. If I go out, it's just the bin men making so much noise. So I come back in furious that I had to stop what I was doing, AKA I was making sofrita from scratch. And I come through, my light is literally standing like right behind this camera. I tap it with my shoulder, it falls and breaks. Me being me, well over dramatic, I'm like, oh, oh she. Long story short, the light's fine. I just clicked it back together. Anyway, we will be making, we as a collective, will be making arroz con gandules. I've been practicing. <laughs> no, but seriously, I have been trying to practice to nail words. It's going great. So the smart, I feel like I need more light and it's getting really dark. Oh, is it raining? Welcome to England. It has literally, well that really gave me so much light. Okay, so this morning I made sofrito from scratch and we're going to pop that in our pan. Yes, I will move you over there once I finish chit chatting. Here's the thing, in England we don't really have pigeon peas and I was really disappointed and almost cried in the middle of Tesco. Non-dramatic at all. Uh, I did look up online. You can swap them out for lentils, black eyed peas, or chickpeas, something like that. So I got... Lent, uh, green lentils, which kind of look a little bit like pigeon peas, but what I'm working with now. So I also have some stock, I have some olives, I've got my rice, I've got my coriander, I do have my tomatoes, I've got my rice, I've got everything prepped. I hope if I have to cut another onion, I will literally be crying. I'm an English girl cooking Puerto Rican food. Okay, so I have a video here that I'm going to follow. This is a tasty video. Um, they do very quick, easy videos I can follow. We've already made our cilantro. I'm going to plop that in. Okay, so I'm gonna wait till that boils. Put my, hold on, hello. Put the olives in and then we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna put the kettle on and get some chicken stock. I feel like that's what goes in it. The, the recipe that I got, this is how it is. Please let me know if you do this as well or I'm doing it completely wrong. So sofrito is in, it is bubbling and next we have to put olives in it. Um, So we are bubbling here in the pan and now we need to add our olives. Woo! I'm also not even gonna cut them up. I didn't want to chop them up because I feel like a nice whole olive is just delicious. But to be fair, I think I'm gonna eat this up. Oh my God, my eyes are... Oh, it's those onions. Oh my God! This is why I hate cooking with onions because my eyes just water so bad. You should have seen me try to cook them. Oh my God, why? I mean, am I okay? Okay, so we are bubbling. What is next? Okay, so they have a lot of seasoning. I, however, couldn't find any of the normal seasoning and I was having quite the panic attack round Tesco's. So the next thing, I'm gonna put a little bit more um, coriander in it. I feel like I've said something wrong. Cilantro is coriander. That, oh my God, my brain is just foggy. Okay, so I'm gonna pop in the lentils. I don't know how much it says. One 15 ounce canned grain. So I'm gonna put in 
just over half of this and see where we go from there. I hope I'm not absolutely screwing this up. If I am, massive apologies. This is the first time actually cooking a proper meal. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I just did this like whole nice clip of me pouring it in, in the pan for you to see up close. And guess what? I wasn't even recording. Sad. This day is going great. So I did add in the lentils. I feel like that is a lot. I mean, there's that much left in the bag, but I feel like I might have put too much in. Maybe, I don't know. I don't feel like she put that much in. Um, I mean, it's in now, there's nothing I can do about it. But I feel like I'm absolutely destroying this like meal. Like, what am I doing? Am I, I'm not even doing this right, I don't think. I'm following the recipe, I just don't have all the ingredients. Oh. I'm honestly having to like get down from <laughs> my eyes. My eyes, I can't see no more. Oh no. <sighs> oh, um, gee. I hate cooking. Like, look at my eyes right now. Ah, oh, the light. Honestly, I do not like cooking anymore. Oh, um, gee, my eyes. Why is this camera so overexposed? What happened? Do you know what? This makeup is gonna have to do. I do apologize if I look. It's not my fault, it's the onions, all right? So I've seen that, moving off topic from me crying, <laughs> partly from the onions and partly because I feel like I'm screwing this up. They put in chicken stock. Um, I'm gonna put that in first and then I'm gonna put in the rice. Please pray for me because I feel like I'm not doing this well. Everyone's gonna hate me. So I've got my stock right here. Here goes nothing. So in goes that, I'm just gonna stir it ever so slightly. Seeing those big massive whole olives in there, <laughs> I really should have chopped them up. So while I'm waiting for that to come to a boil, I'm then gonna pop in the rice and see where we are at. Because right now I feel like I'm well and truly just absolutely, I have no words for how I feel like I'm making every Puerto Rican or even every Latina, Latino feel right now. I feel like I am not making anyone proud. Hopefully when I make coquito, I will make myself proud because, well, I'll be drunk. If you would like to see me do that, comment down below, like this video, DM me, and I will make coquito. So now our mix has come to a boil-ish. I'm going to add in my rice, which is a big bowl here. Um, I probably need a lot more, but let's just see. I don't want to put too much in. I need a little bit more rice. So I'm going to add in another little bowl of rice. And hopefully that should be enough of the rice. Disclaimer, I'm not a massive fan of rice. So if I end up loving this dish, I'm gonna be eating it forever. Oh my God, it looks so nice. Okay, I've got a lot of rice in there. I feel like, I feel like we're getting somewhere. I feel like, my eyes are still watering every time I come over here. So there we go. That is what it looks like currently. Doesn't look like any of the Erocon gandules I have seen. Um, don't know what happened. Maybe it's because I don't have all the seasonings, but this is what we're working with, this is what I'm working with. I hope it comes out edible. I hope I make you all proud. So now I'm gonna put a little bit more water in, put the lid on, let it bubble, simmer, and all that. And now we'll come right back.
I'm gonna fix it. Okay, so after my meltdown, um, while I was waiting for this to cook, I just sat back and I thought, why am I getting so like almost upset? Not the time I was crying, that was from the onions. I feel like now that it's all cooked and I'm seeing it all ready to be eaten, I am actually quite proud of myself. It doesn't look the same as everybody else's. Um, I feel like everybody else's, the rice is a little bit like more orangey. Mine is, well, let's just say it, mine is not orange. I have never eaten Puerto Rican food. I've never eaten any Latin food. Wait, please. Um, I've eaten um, paella, but that was when I was in junior school. Hello? I swear this house is freaking haunted. There is noises. There is, well, there's texts, but forced on texts. Anyway, this is like the first time the only time I am trying and making, I am filming! I'm never getting so many texts. But actually, <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on silent. Ah! Yeah, so this is the first time making and eating Puerto Rican food. Obviously, I've never made it, so please withhold any judgment of how it looks. But I'm really, I'm really proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. Actually, I haven't tasted it yet, so I'm half proud of myself. This is it, guys. It is still so very, very hot, but this is what we have. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. It's very, like, hold on. There we go. That is literally what it looks like. So I'm going to pop it in a bowl and we are going to do a taste test. I think I'm going to have to get out of this kitchen ASAP because shall I have it in a bowl? Flipping hot. You can definitely smell the cilantro. So I have some with the rice. I have the lentils. I also have olive on there. Oh my god, no joke. Can I cook? This is pretty good. The taste with the olives is absolutely on a whole different level. As I said before, I'm actually not a rice person. I The rice is almost, it's not hard, but it's not soft. And then with the olives, I didn't expect to like olives in this, in something else other than like feta cheese and like just garlic on its own. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so good. I'm so glad I like made myself like try like new foods. What should I do next? I really want to try mofongo, but if you do want to see me make coquito, I, I I have the ingredients right now, so I will happily make it. If you do want to see me make mofongo, I will happily make it. If you want to see me make mango, I will happily make it. I will happily make any Latin dish, because I right now, after tasting that, I feel very confident in cooking it. I know I wasn't before, slight meltdown internally. But that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was today's video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what else you would like to see me make. Um, comment down below your best bit of this video. And with that being said, I will see you in next video, which will be Sunday. By the way, this weekend is VidCon and if anybody who is watching this who is actually going to VidCon, please also let me know so we can all hang out. Yeah, I think that's all I want to add. See y'all on Sunday if I don't see you in VidCon. Have a fantastic day, evening, morning, whatever you're doing. Make it great. Ashley Wagner.